All right, so let's start talking about the landforms that are going to be created by groundwater. And so the first kind of landform is going to be a spring. So a spring is where water is going to uh, basically come back up to the surface and then it comes out of soil or rock. So how could it happen? So the first example there, the one that is in the upper left-hand corner, shows that if you've just got uniform uh, sediments and or rocks, so this is going to be an aquifer, and let's just assume that it's all made of the same material, then what's going to happen is that the water is going to be flowing basically downhill, just like a river would, and then wherever this groundwater makes contact with the surface, water is going to start to come out. So the water can come out as a spring. The water can also go into that little river down there at the bottom. So it can feed that river so that even during the hottest months when uh, there is no rainfall, there could still be water flowing in that river because it's constantly being filled by groundwater that is coming from the water table. Now given enough time though, that water table is going to begin to drop and so if it's not recharged by rainfall, then eventually it will get to the same level as that river and then the river will stop flowing. Okay, the one that is next to it, so the top right hand picture, shows what can happen if you've got water and you can see that it's flowing down like it normally does, but you can see that it gets to a layer down here that let's say it has clay in it. So this is an aquitard down here. And so it's not gonna allow the water to flow down any further. And as a matter of fact, this aquitard, as you can see, it kind of curves up. So this water is basically gonna flow up the aquitard and then it's gonna come out of the ground somewhere else. So that's another thing, that another way that a spring can happen. Okay, the third way that a spring can happen is lower uh, left-hand corner, and this time you have a perched um, uh, body of water. So you've got a body of water, it's resting on top of an aquitard, and then uh, that water drains out and it comes out the side of the mountain, and then it would flow down the mountain as a form of a stream until it gets to the river down at the, the base of it. And then the third poss or the fourth possibility there, so the lower right hand picture, shows that uh, water can go up cracks in rocks and then it will uh, come out of the, the mountain face wherever those fractures are located at. So those are all different ways that a spring can form. All right, let's take a break, and when we come back, we're gonna talk about what an artesian well is.